All right, ladies and germs, here we are again, back with another video, and we've got another great product here from TP-Link. This is the CASA Smart Wi-Fi Plug. It's the HS110. So without further ado, hit that like button and the subscribe button, and let's get stuck into the video. Let's go. Just quickly, before we get started, links down below to Amazon and eBay and also the TP-Link website if you do want to pick one up. Amazon and eBay, I get affiliates out of that, so you can help me out by doing that if you feel like you want to help me out. Anyway, let's go. Where do you get a tech product for less than 50 bucks with a three-year warranty? From TP-Link, that's where. Look at that. Three-year warranty. How does that even compute? Anyway, features for the smart Wi-Fi plug are Control from anywhere, no hub required, energy monitoring, and home automation. It's compatible with Google and with Amazon, and I will not say their names. Now, if you've been here before, then you know that I've got a fair bit of smart tech around the house. Bulbs, cameras, smart plugs, and this is another smart plug. The last one I did was the KP303 from CASA or TP-Link. Link to that video here. That's great device worth checking out. But this is more your single plug option. We don't want power boards everywhere. So you might want to go for the single plug and that's where this would come into it. Some more features here are, you can turn your devices on and off, set schedules, monitor your energy usage, voice control with Amazon and Google. An easy setup. And that's what I'm going to show you right now is how to set it up. You need your phone, you need your power adapter, plug where are you gonna plug it you gotta work out where you're gonna plug it I'm thinking of putting this one in the kitchen so I set up the power board the CASA power board in the studio here with me so it turns on the video light turns on my laptop and also charges my camera battery when I tell it to it also has two USB chargers in there as well because I review a lot of phones so I can just plug them in and charge them while I'm sitting here doing videos and stuff like that so it's great. For me, it's the best spot for it in the house. It's right here in the studio. However, this small one is going to go in the kitchen. When my alarm goes off in the morning, it's going to turn on and heat up the jug so I can make a nice cup of coffee. Call me lazy, but the job's half done. All right, here we go. What do you get in the box? That's how I roll. All right, you get some safety information. Don't need that. Quick start menu and an Australian limited warranty, Australian New Zealand limited warranty, three years. As usual, look, they put one of these in with every product. It's a little quick start guide. So you download the CASA app, add it to CASA, plug it in, power it up. So it's really simple. Here's the device itself. Pretty simple plug. There you go. This is the newer model. I think the previous model was the HS100. This is the HS110. Go to the Play Store, search for CASA. Comes up straight away, CASA app, hit install. It says open for me because I've already got it. So I'm gonna hit open. And now you can see all my devices. And right now, the front door camera is armed. The living room camera is armed. Actually, where it says random, that's my computer laptop on. In the video light, which is the light which is on my left, lighting me up. But I want to add something new. So the first time you download the CASA app, you would have to create an account, log in, and then you'll have this interface set up. And then once you're here, you want to go plus. And you want to plus a new device. And then you choose from the range of devices here. So I want to go with smart plugs because it's not a camera, it's not a light bulb, it's not a switch, it's a smart plug. Smart plug, HS100, HS110. Power up your smart plug. Plug in your smart plug, the Wi-Fi light should turn solid orange. Here's one I prepared earlier. Power socket. So I'm gonna plug it in, and that solid light comes on orange, the Wi-Fi symbol, can you see that? Excellent. 
Next step. Press next. After 15 seconds, the Wi-Fi light should start blinking orange and green. Let's check that. Orange and green. So now that it's doing that, we want to press next. Connecting to smart plug. Wait a few minutes. Now I've got to choose my Wi-Fi network. Press connect. So you've got to put in your password for your Wi-Fi network. This might take a minute or two. Shouldn't take too long. Now I'm getting a notification saying it's connected. Name your device. What am I going to call it? I'm going to call it coffee. Because the jug is going to be plugged into it. And I get to give it a symbol, and look at that, there's a kettle right there, so I'll choose that one. Congratulations. You configured your smart plug, and it's ready for use in your device list. Sounds good. There it is, coffee, and it's switched on. So I can turn that off from here, or turn it off. So I might have it set to come on at 6 a.m., just make sure my jug has got water in it before I go to bed and bang, it comes on. So now that we've set it up, I want to set a schedule for it to turn on every morning at a certain time. So I'm going to go into my device, coffee. You can see it's a kettle, you can see the plugs on. Now I want to schedule it. I'm going to tap this plus button here to schedule it. I'm going to power it on at... 6 a.m. every day. You might just want it to come on one day a week. I like to get up early and do exercise, so I'm going to go 6 a.m. every day. Save. Done. But to make this even more efficient, I'm going to schedule I don't really have any coffee after, say, 10 o'clock at night. So I'm going to add a power off schedule for, I'll go 10.30. PM, every night the kettle will turn off. So then it will be off, so it will trigger on in the morning. That's it. Smart Wi Fi plug set up, making my lazy ass a little bit lazier. And that's what we're all about. What questions have you got for me? Comment down below. There'll be links down below as well. Really appreciate you stopping by to watch the video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thumbs down if you didn't enjoy it, and I will catch you in the next video. Check ya.